Hello friends, welcome to your own channel Revealed A to Z. So in this video I am going to tell you how you can find day on any date in 10 seconds. Now before starting this video I would like to tell you that this is one of the most powerful method of finding day on any date in 10 seconds wherein you can find the day of any date in your mind mentally. Now I would also like to tell you that this method is devised by me by collecting data from various sources and putting them at one place and find, taking the crux out of them and then finding the method. So I will appreciate if you will like this video and put your comments below. Now let's start this video. So if you have to find day on any date, then the first thing that you need to remember is the codes of the months. Now here are the 10 co 12 codes for corresponding 12 months. So January it is 0, February it is 3, March it is 3, April it is 6, May it is 1, June it is 4, July it is 6, August it is 2, September 5, October 0, November 3 and December 5. So the sequence is 0, double 3, 6, 1, 4, 6, 2, 5, 0, 3, 5. You have to learn these codes and it is very simple if you will make a pattern. Now another thing that you need to learn is the codes of century. Now century means 2000, 1900, 1800, 1700. Now what you have to do is you have to divide the first two digits of a century by 4. Suppose you have 19th century then you have to divide 19 by 4 and when you will divide you will get four options. Your remainder can either be 0 then the code for that century will be 0. Your remainder can be 1 then the code for that century will be 5. Your remainder can be 2, then the code for that century will be 3, your remainder can be 3, then the code for that century is 1. So your codes are 0, 5, 3 and 1. Now let's find day on 25th October 2017. So the method is first of all you will put the date, the date is 25th, add code of the month, the code for the month October is 0, you will add it to the date. Then you will take the last two digits of the year and subtract one from it you will get 17 the last two digits are 17 you will subtract one you will get 16 add it to the sequence that we are that we have made then you will take the quotient of last two digits minus one and then divide it by four this means last two digits is 17 you will subtract one from it it will become 16 then you will divide 16 by 4 you will get quotient as 4 now you suppose if suppose the year would have been 18 2018 and if you have subtracted 1 from it you would have got 17 then 17 divided by 4 will also give you the quotient as 4 you will ignore the decimal part you have to remember this thing that you have to take the integral part and you have to, when you are dividing the number by 4 and you have to forget the decimal part now next you have to take the code of the century the code of the century the century is 2000 2000 century the code is 0 that's it you will add all these numbers what you will get is 45 now this 45 you have to divide this 45 at the end by 7 you will get a remainder 3 now remember this when the remainder is 3 the year day is Wednesday if the remainder would have been 0 the day would have been Sunday 1 Monday, 2 Tuesday, 3 Wednesday, 4 Thursday, 5 Friday, 6 Saturday. Now let's find, now let's find the day for 18 July 1996. Now this is a different case because this is a leap year. Now for how you can find whether it is a leap year, just divide the last two digits of the year 1996 in this case by 4. If it is completely divisible, it is a leap year. If it is not, it is not a leap year. Now in leap year, you, the whole process will be same. You will take the date 18, you will take the code of the month July, it is for July it is 6. You will take the last two digits, subtract it from 1, you will get 95. Then you will take the quotient of last two digits minus 1 divided by 4. So you will take 95 divided by 4, you will get 23. You will ignore the decimal part. The exact answer would have been 23.75 but you will ignore the decimal part. So it is 23 and then code of the century for 1900 the code of the century is 1. So if you will add all these, what you will get is 143. Now divide this 143 by 7, you will get 
3 as the remainder. Now, what you have to do is, you ha since this is a leap year, now remember this thing, this is a leap year, you have to add 1 to the remainder and you will get 4. And your day will be 18 July 1996 will be th was Thursday. One more thing that you have to uh, note here is, if it would have been January or February of any leap year, then the method would be the same as told to you in the first example. You just don't have to add 1 to it. If it is January or February, only for January and February, you just don't have to add whether it is a leap year or not a leap year. You don't have to add 1 at the end. Only in case if the month is greater than February, then you have to add 1 to the one in case of leap year now using this method we will find it in a very short time now just let's see whether you can do it or not mentally we will do it 15th august 2147 date 15 code of the month august 2 last two digits minus 1 46 46 divided by 4 11 add Code of the century 2100 that is 5 when you will add all this what you will get you will get 79 79 divided by 7 remainder 2 so your day is Tuesday now this is a very simple method and this is now a universal method a little bit of practice and you can find all this mentally now one more thing I'll tell you if you just don't want to add each and every number here 15 plus 2 plus 46 you what you can also do is you can divide each and every number by 7 and add the remainder of each and every for example 15 divided by 7 would have given you 1 46 divided by 7 would have given you 4 11 divided by 7 would have given you 4 and 5 if you would have add those and divided at the end the answer if you have divided the answer by 7 you would also got the answer as Tuesday so friends, if you like this video, please subscribe and don't forget to hit the like button and do put your comments below. Thanks for watching. Thank you.